welcome to mailserverguru.com this is second part of EFA or email filter appliance and the spamming system at first video we have uh, shown how to install the appliance on VMware ESXi server now we will use this uh, appliance to filter our mail first of all let's see our uh, topology or our server deployment scenario here so our mail is coming from the internet and our domain mailserverguru.com its MX record points to the EFA server or the email filter appliance server so first whenever um, people sending me an email or uh, suppose moon at the rate mailserverguru.com the mail is coming to the EFA server then after filtering after email um, spam and virus filtering then it is delivering the backend server this is our Zimbra server actually so I will get mail filtered mail from the EFA server to the backend server so we'll configure and see the log step by step and we'll see the report uh, from the EFA console uh, I mean the web interface so <coughs> before checking mail let's check our uh, mailserverguru.com's MX record from the MX toolbox uh, we are seeing that our this domain's um, MX record points to the efa.mailserverguru.com so any mail comes to mailserverguru.com will deliver to the server so let's uh, send a mail from my gmail account at first when we install the um, appliance then we have uh, mentioned that what will be our backend server and when uh, we specify the mailserverguru.com as the domain name of the appliance then it uh, actually uh, took that domain as an authoritative domain for the appliance so it will receive mail for the mailserverguru.com so uh, if we want to um, filter uh, some other domains then we have to mention those domains on the file I will show you um, later uh, which file to edit so after installing uh, let's check a mail at first I have um, logged into the system with a SSH account or SSH login normally we cannot uh, do SSH as uh, root we have to enable uh, SSH login from the console so I have logged in to the console then uh, to check the mail log I run around the command tail minus F power log mail log so I have sent a mail uh, from my official uh, email address So let's uh, let's uh, send the mail again. Let's see what it shows. Muna at mail server guru dot com subject test test let's send a mail and see our server log it should show here we can see clearly that a mail came from munaway at gmail.com to munaway at mailserverguru.com so because this is an uh, email filtering appliance so it has gray listed uh, gray listing uh, support uh, software installed here so the recipient address rejected gray listed for five minutes gray listing is at first when a sender sends mail to a recipient 
here for example uh, muna at mailserverpro.com that this email filter is actually giving this domain support uh, and this and this spamming support so first it will it will uh, reject the mail with an error message this is actually an internal error message if the sender is a legitimate sender the sender the sending system or the sending mail server will send the mail again so so after the mail rejection the sending system if the sending system is a legitimate uh, sender then the sending system will send the mail again and it will try to uh, to deliver the mail so if uh, it is a, if it is a spamming system spamming system actually uh, hit the mail with a uh, very fast uh, speed then it it just drops the connection so the gray listing is a is a uh, great tool uh, to identify the the spam sources so at first whenever any any new domain uh, sends a mail to the mail server group dot com then the um, uh, the EFA will reject the mail then after five minutes it will uh, actually receive or deliver the mail here we can see that at first uh, I have sent a mail from Muna at B local today then after uh, five minutes it's actually delivered the mail so it delivered to my backend system if I see here it came it reached the inbox so I can see the mail so I have sent another email and it also rejects the mail now it's waiting for five minutes uh, within the five minute Google definitely will reconnect uh, will try to reconnect to the uh, server or the EFA then the EFA will uh, deliver this uh, mail to our backend server uh, within its time uh, now if we check the our mail scanner log or the EFA log we can see it clearly that a mail came from Muna at B local today and it's delivered to Muna at mailservergroup.com subject test size its spam score 0 0.49 and the status is clean so here we can see the web interface and we can see here all the log all the uh, mail delivery report now we can see after five minutes uh, the sender address from gmail.com it is added read one watch list entries scanning one message to moonadmailsoverguru.com now uninfected delivered one message now if you see our backend system that our mail came so if we send second time it will not act uh, like the first one because our sender address already been whitelisted So if you send again, now it will it should deliver instantly but it is uh, receiving that is rejected gray listed for five minutes again uh, it should not act like this so it will definitely uh, add the recipient address to the white list this time I guess okay so let the mail come uh, within this time let's see if you want to um, configure another domain uh, to receive mail by the EFA server uh, for scanning then what we'll do we will go to etc postfix vi 
transport I'll go to the at the end here we have to map those domains for example vmrlearner.com this is my another domain and this is the backend server so it will receive mail for the vmrlearner.com and then it will deliver to this IP so this is the backend server so after uh, giving input here at the transport table we must post map transport and restart post fix so we will do this at second step but at first step or at vmrlearner.com zone or the DNS server we must point MX record for the domain to our EFA just like mailserverguru.com then it will uh, receive mail for VMware learner also and it will deliver to the backend server as we mentioned on the transport table so if we check the mail log now again now you can see that after passing some time gray reconnect ok that means the email address monavadgmail.com is gray listed so it is reconnecting that is ok and now the SQL gray system is actually uh, adding this email address and now it uh, delivers the mail to the backend server from Monavad Gmail and to relay this is the backend server so it removed it from the queue manager or the queue that means it the mail is delivered so if we check now we will get the mail so this is the second mail and if we check the mail watch or the email filter appliances uh, web interface we can see that our mail delivers to our origin or the backend server so we have successfully installed and configured the email filter appliance and we have tested it successfully so thank you